Welcome back. My next guest has spent her entire life creating exercise programs for healthy, fit bodies. But a few years ago, she realized something was missing. She wanted a program that would connect her mind and soul with her body. She's here to tell us what she discovered and created and why it can change your life. Please welcome Patricia Moreno. Hi. Thank you so much for coming. I'm excited to be here. Now, you are a huge success in the world of physical fitness and health, but there was a time when you felt like you had failed, that you were a failure. Why? Because I had been teaching classes for you know 20 years, and the classes were doing great, but I was teaching mainly to very fit people and teaching to instructors, designing programs for them. So it was kind of an elite group of people that I became very popular with. And I come from a family of ten brothers and sisters. Ten and brothers and sisters. Ten brothers and sisters. That's a lot of brothers and sisters. That's a lot. <laughs> and in my family, a lot of obesity and weight issues and trials about weight. And I had never created a program that had touched their lives. So for me, when I started redesigning what the next place I wanted my career to go, I started to think, well, I think I need to come up with something that can really impact the people that really have a hard time and then I'll feel like I've made a difference. So when was the point or would you say your aha moment when you sort of made the whole mind-body connection? There were quite a few. One was when I first started practicing yoga and that started opening me up to just moving from joy and moving from love. And then I did this workshop with Anthony Robbins. Do you know I've done it too. Have you done yes. it? It's incredible. It's too. incredible. And the yeah. things that you're able to yeah. do and the things that he gets you to recognize that you can do right. are amazing. And one of the things he had us do one day was do affirmations while we walked on the beach. And it was literally in that moment that I was like, that's it. That's it. Once we change the way that people think and that people are empowered by their own words, I think this could transform people's lives. And it was out of that discovery for you yeah. that you created intensity. Yeah. And intensity, sati, S-A-T-I, meaning, right. meaning? Meaning mindfulness. So sati meaning mindfulness, and ten meaning intention. So what it means to me is keep your focus or your awareness on what you really want for yourself in your life. So you can be someone who worries and complains and doubts and doesn't believe in yourself and that'll obviously take you in one direction. But if you're someone who can retrain yourself to think about what you want, what's important to you, how you want to live your life, how you want to feel, and you shift all of your energy and your mental focus in that direction, that's the direction your life will go. Mm -hmm. So this is about deliberately choosing to own the power of your focus and focusing on what you really want instead of being someone who complains about what they don't have. And then you recruited your, some of your family members. I did. Were they willing participants? Or were they um, like, oh, it's Patricia, she's doing some weird thing. You know? Actually, they were, they were, well, out of all of them, four of them were willing. Okay. So that was great. You have a, and lot, a lot of brothers and sisters. Though. I do. A lot of people to try things out. Right, on. right. And they actually came forth quite willingly, but they were very skeptical. They were like, we've tried everything. I don't think this is going to work, but I think it was out of love. And they're like, we'll do it for you, but okay. <laughs> we don't really believe it. So describe what you did with them. The well, what I did with them, I have, besides the workout component, I have the private coaching part of my company. So I got them on coaching calls once a week, which they connected with someone that had them decide what it is they really wanted for themselves in their lives, had them define really what was important for them. And that, when you connect to what you really want, I call it the desire being the fire of transformation. When you can stoke that fire of desire, you get this level of, I call it discipline. Discipline is remembering what you really want. Then if you remember what you really want, the choices you make are fairly easy. So they got on a call once a week with one of my coaches from the Handel Group. And then they were also assigned to do the workout from DVD okay, at least once a week. Workout. Right, okay. The Intensity Workout. Right, the Intensity Workout on DVD. And they came forth willingly. I mean, they did it. And what were the results? The results were my sister lost 180 pounds. And this is someone who's 55 who has never been at a, what you would call a normal healthy weight. She's 12 years older than I am and I've never seen her at a healthy weight. Wow. So can you so she's imagine? Been having I, this you know, problem for a long time. Her whole her life. Whole life. So someone at 55 wow. to be able to lose 180 pounds in less than two years. Really I mean, she amazing. made a shift. She just made, she was able to make a shift in choosing that she really wanted to lose weight, which is really the key. So she's still going, but she's 
never been so happy in all her life and she's just what an example she, she is though oh she's, she's an amazing like, example yeah an inspiration and exactly. for and for the rest of the family members as well and then my brother and sister younger brother and sister each wanted to lose 40 pounds and they both got to their goal weight as well well let's do some of the let's the do exercise. some yeah, okay show so me some. i'm going to show you yeah. three okay three exercises okay. so i all i want you to imagine is okay. if these if this was a part of the script of your everyday life how different your life would be. So the first exercise is yes. And the yes is yes, I'm willing to live a life I love. Okay. So yes is positive expectation. So it looks like this. Uh -huh. it, but it's a reach uh -huh. and the hands are open wide and uh -huh. it's yes, yes, yes. And you're just repeating yes, yes. 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 And it, as you repeat yes, you're like pulling up the feeling of uh -huh. yes, I can do this. But okay. you put energy and enthusiasm and passion. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And you can yes. go as fast yes. as you want. Or? And you want to go fast so that you're generating enthusiasm uh -huh. and passion. Okay. okay, so yes is a first one. Okay. Now hands up. This is called the exercise of strength. Okay. So you go right, left, right, left, and you act strong and you feel strong. And then the affirmation, instead of complaining about how hard the <laughs> exercise is, or you can't do it. You focus on what you want and you just say, I am strong now. Say it. I am strong now yeah. again. And I, I am strong. strong. And then you say it like you really mean it. I, I am strong then you go a little faster and you, you say faster. i am <laughs> and your heart strong. rate my heart now you yes. you're getting your heart the heart rate goes up your heart rate goes up the arms get get worked and sculpted but the purpose of it is when you put energy and enthusiasm behind a word it gives it power then i'm going to give you the next one circle the arms okay. this, this exercise is called willpower mm -hmm. and it's the power of your will the power of your thought and every thought you have generates more and more power so the ability to focus on one thought for a long period of time increases its okay. energy so can you feel your arms yes yes it's good right <laughs> yeah. so then you can do this as fast as you can and you just say i believe i will succeed I believe, believe I, I will, will succeed. succeed. I believe I will <laughs> succeed. Yes, I believe I will succeed. And when you string them all together, then the, then the final affirmation is, yes, 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 I am strong now. I believe I will succeed. Ah, yes. You just made a whole yes. a sentence there. Yes. Okay. Yes. And Pretty see when you so if you have a whole hour of this and then you have something in your mind that you really want to succeed at, you can start to get that you can choose what you think. You don't have to doubt, you are the doubter. And so this is just the practice of empowering yourself, owning the power of your words and choosing words that uplift you, empower you, make you feel great. Wow. Yeah. I feel great. I'm glad. Yeah. You have to come back again. I would love to more, come back. Okay? I would love to. And our viewers today can find out more about Inten Sati on great. our website today. Great. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. Thank you. Wow, what a workout. I can feel it. <laughs>